It's a common trend to mock public figures, assuming they effortlessly soared to stardom with minimal hurdles. Many of us feel a pang of uncertainty when comparing our lives to those of Hollywood stars or tech magnates, wondering, how did they achieve success so effortlessly? However, the reality is far from rosy for our beloved celebrities. Whether it's Steve Jobs or Elvis Presley, countless renowned personalities faced numerous setbacks before achieving the pinnacle of success. Fortunately for these celebrities, they learned how to rebound and turn failure into a springboard for future accomplishments. Fearlessly pursuing their dreams eventually propelled the following stars to become some of the wealthiest and most renowned figures globally, despite facing job termination early in their careers. Sylvester Stallone The global audience may find it challenging to accept that an individual who once grappled with securing roles in films eventually transformed into one of Hollywood's most iconic actors. Progressing from acquiring minor roles to penning screenplays, Sylvester Stallone, acknowledged as the robust figure in Hollywood, established his presence in the entertainment industry. His enduring portrayals, particularly as Rocky Balboa and the Vietnam War veteran John Rambo, stand out as his most memorable roles. Recent commercial triumphs feature his collaborations with industry heavyweights like Jean-Claude Van Damme and Arnold Schwarzenegger, in The Expendables and The Expendables 2. A versatile talent, Stallone currently excels as an actor, writer, director, and producer. Renowned for his distinctive indistinct speech patterns and a characteristic lopsided smile. Beyond the Rocky franchise, he participated in several critically acclaimed films that, unfortunately, did not achieve the same commercial success as Rocky and Rambo. Seeking to break free from stereotypical tough guy roles, he rekindled fan interest by diversifying into genres such as Paradise Alley and Zookeeper, yet these attempts failed to resonate with the audience. Isaiah Washington Isaiah Washington, an American actor acclaimed for his performances in movies like Crooklyn and Get on the Bus, gained recognition for portraying Dr. Preston Burke in the medical drama series Grey's Anatomy. Born in Houston, Texas, he faced adversity in his early years when his father was tragically murdered at the tender age of 13. The profound impact of this loss left him traumatized, and he grappled with the challenge of coping. Eventually, he found the strength to forge ahead, embarking on a journey that led him to serve in the United States Air Force before venturing into the realm of acting. Washington's early forays into the film industry included a supporting role in the semi-biographical Crooklyn. He subsequently contributed to projects such as Get on the Bus and Romeo Must Die. Simultaneously making a mark on television, his performance in the TV film Dancing in September garnered him a Nays P. Image Award nomination, marking a significant milestone in his burgeoning career. The turning point came with his involvement in the widely acclaimed medical drama series Grey's Anatomy, elevating his popularity. Over the years, the series garnered widespread acclaim from both audiences and critics. Washington's contributions to the show earned him two Image Awards and a Screen Actors Guild Award. Shelley Duvall Texas native, Duvall commenced her acting journey after catching the attention of director Robert Altman, who, impressed by her positive demeanor, cast her in the dark comedy film Brewster McCloud, 1970. Despite initial reluctance to embrace an acting career, she continued collaborating with Altman, featuring in McCabe and Mrs. Miller, 1971, and Thieves Like Us, 1974. The pivotal moment arrived with Altman's iconic film Nashville, 1975, marking her breakthrough. Duvall garnered widespread acclaim for her role in the drama Three Women, 1977, another Altman-directed masterpiece, earning her the Cannes Film Festival Award for Best Actress and a nomination for the British Academy Film Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role. In the same year, she played a supporting role as a Rolling Stone writer in Woody Allen's satirical romantic comedy, 
Annie Hall, 1977, and graced the stage as a host on Saturday Night Live. During the 1980s, Duval soared to fame with notable lead roles, portraying Olive Oil in Altman's live-action adaptation of Popeye, 1980, and Wendy Torrance in Stanley Kubrick's horror classic The Shining, 1980. Her diverse roles extended to Terry Gilliam's fantasy film Time Bandits, 1981, the short comedy horror film Frank and Weenie, 1984, and the comedy Roxanne, 1987. The latter half of the 1980s saw her venture into television production for children and youth programming, with notable creations including Fairy Tale Theater, 1982-1987, Tall Tales and Legends, 1985-1987, earning her a Primetime Emmy Award nomination in 1988, and Nightmare Classics, 1989. Katie Holmes Katie Holmes possesses more than just her enchanting and appealing demeanor. An accomplished and vibrant actress, Holmes ventured into the world of acting at the encouragement of her instructor, who persuaded her to participate in a modeling contest. Her remarkable singing, dancing, and acting talents led to an early breakthrough in her career. In 1997, she secured her inaugural professional role in the film The Ice Storm, followed by Disturbing Behaviors and Go the subsequent year. Progressing in her career, she attained a leading role in the film Teaching Mrs. Tingle, earning appreciation for her performance. Despite most of her films achieving success at the box office, the elusive blockbuster hit only materialized in 2004. However, 2005 marked a significant milestone with her standout role in Batman Begins, garnering both critical acclaim and widespread popularity. Throughout the years, she has been involved in numerous films and television series, with her acting career initially drawing attention. While her professional journey brought her recognition, it was the events in Katie Holmes' personal life, her affair, subsequent marriage, and divorce with renowned actor Tom Cruise. That garnered more attention, often overshadowing her career achievements. M. Night Shyamalan Manoj Neliyatu Shyamalan, more widely recognized as M. Night Shyamalan, is an American filmmaker and screenwriter. Hailing from India, Shyamalan spent his formative years in Pennsylvania, USA. He gained prominence with the 1999 psychological horror film The Sixth Sense, featuring Bruce Willis and Tony Collette. This work earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Director in 2000. His earlier cinematic endeavors encompassed Praying with Anger and Wide Awake. Following the success of The Sixth Sense, he collaborated with Willis once again for the science fiction film The Unbreakable, Additional noteworthy contributions to his filmography include Signs and The Village. A distinctive element of his body of work is his penchant for setting many films in his hometown of Pennsylvania, specifically Philadelphia. While Shyamalan experienced success in the initial years of the new century, he later encountered a series of films criticized by reviewers. Beyond directing, Shyamalan has delved into film production, with credits including the horror feature Devil and the science fiction series Wayward Pines. Additionally, he exhibits a passion for basketball and holds a season ticket for the Philadelphia 76ers. Josh Hartnett Josh Hartnett, an American actor and producer, gained recognition for his role as Michael Fitzgerald in the TV drama series Cracker airing from 1997 to 1998. Possessing captivating looks and undeniable sex appeal, he emerged as a highly sought-after young actor in his early years. Despite being primarily acknowledged for his appearance, Josh Hartnett demonstrated his ability to deliver compelling performances. In his high school days, acting wasn't the initial career choice for this athletic young man, who was more focused on sports. Acting only entered his consideration when an injury forced him to abandon his athletic pursuits. Encouraged by his aunt, the disheartened teenager 
ventured into acting, securing the role of Huckleberry Finn in a stage production of Tom Sawyer. The experience captivated him, and at the age of 19, he gained attention for his looks in the ABC drama Cracker. While his early fame was fueled by his role in Halloween H-2020 years later, a horror film that established him as a teen heartthrob, Josh Hartnett continued to receive more film offers, swiftly becoming a prominent figure in Hollywood. Winona Ryder Winona Ryder, a versatile actress adorned with numerous awards, including a Golden Globe Award, has masterfully portrayed an array of characters across diverse film genres, such as comedy, horror, drama, and science fiction. Stepping into Hollywood during her teenage years, she marked her debut in the film Lucas. Garnering a reputation for embracing unconventional roles, she tackled projects like Heather's, delving into the sensitive topic of teenage suicide and the horror classic Bram Stoker's Dracula. As she progressed into adulthood, Ryder broadened her horizons, willingly embracing varied and challenging roles. She stands out as one of the rare actresses who seamlessly transitioned from a teenage sensation to a seasoned character actor. Her adaptability and inclination for portraying diverse characters ensured a continuous influx of intriguing roles throughout her career. Raised in the family of a video producer, Winona Ryder developed an early fascination with cinema, initiating her journey into acting by attending classes at the age of 12. Her initial venture onto the big screen materialized as a teenager when she was cast as Rena in the film Lucas. While not an immediate blockbuster, this debut served as the catalyst for her career. Subsequent prominent roles catapulted Winona into the limelight, leading to her nominations for a Screen Actors Guild Award and critical acclaim for her performances in Little Women and the Age of Innocence, earning recognition from the Academy Award. Brett Ratner Ratner embarked on his directorial journey by creating music videos during the 1990s, and in 1997, he directed his inaugural feature film, Money Talks. In total, the movies under Ratner's direction have amassed a staggering $2 billion in worldwide box office earnings. Serving as the co-founder of Rat Pack Entertainment, a prominent film production company, Ratner played a pivotal role in Rat Pack's collaboration with Dune Entertainment in September 2013. This collaboration resulted in a co-producing agreement with Warner Brothers, spanning 75 films. Rat Pack Entertainment's contributions extend to co-financing 81 theatrically released films, achieving a remarkable $17 billion in global box office receipts. These co-financed films garnered acclaim with 59 Academy Award nominations, 25 Golden Globe nominations, and 43 BAFTA nominations. Notably, they secured 25 Academy Awards, 8 Golden Globes, and 24 BAFTAs. In recognition of his significant impact on the motion picture industry, Ratner received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in January 2017, located at 68081 Hollywood Boulevard. However, in 2017, multiple women in Hollywood surfaced with allegations of misconduct, sexual assault, or sexual harassment against Ratner. Subsequently, he ceased film production in Hollywood and relocated to Israel in 2023. Roseanne Barr Roseanne Cherry Barr, a renowned American stand-up comedian, actress in television, film, and theater, as well as a writer, director, and producer, is celebrated for her sharp humor, biting remarks, and insightful and humorous observations on the dynamics between men and women particularly a woman's struggle as a domestic goddess. Initiating her career as a stand-up comedian, she performed in local clubs in Denver and Colorado after leaving her parents' home at the age of 18. Her impeccable comic timing gained recognition on American television with her HBO show, The Rose and Bar Show. The pinnacle of her entertainment career came with Rosen on ABC, 
a highly successful nine-season run that earned her accolades such as Emmy and Golden Globe Awards. Following that, she ventured into numerous projects, hosting her own shows, participating in famous programs, engaging in movies, theater, voiceovers, and authoring books. Reflecting her liberal political stance, she even made a bid for the 2012 presidential elections. Despite her challenging upbringing, which occasionally impacted her personal relationships, Barr, a three-time divorcee, is a mother of five from various marriages. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean-Claude Van Damme's films resonated with martial artists globally, bringing Muay Thai and kickboxing to the forefront of martial arts before they gained widespread recognition. Despite the relatively modest budgets of movies like Bloodspot and Kickboxer, they achieved substantial box office success worldwide, undoubtedly serving as inspiration for a generation of martial artists and actors. It may be surprising for many of his friends and followers to imagine that a slender, unassuming child would eventually evolve into a martial arts sensation in Hollywood, earning the moniker Muscles from Brussels. The Belgian icon immersed himself in martial arts training from a young age and initially found a footing in the entertainment industry as a nightclub bouncer. His debut role in the hitchhiker movie Missing in Action marked the initial step toward his Hollywood journey, and subsequent film contracts began to pour in. Despite a skyrocketing popularity, prior commitments to low-budget films slowed his ascent in Hollywood. Van Damme's signature karate kick, complete with a 360-degree leap, has become a source of emulation for numerous martial arts enthusiasts and actors. Lisa Bonet, Lisa Michelle. Bonet, an American actress in both film and television, entered the realm of glamour and entertainment through childhood appearances in commercials. After completing her acting studies at the Celluloid Actors Studio in North Hollywood, she has amassed an extensive body of work over the years, participating in numerous films and TV productions. Particularly noteworthy is her role in the NBC sitcom The Cosby Show, where her portrayal of Denise Huxtable garnered recognition and popularity, leading to her reprising the character in the spin-off comedy A Different World. Demonstrating her versatility, she took on the role of Epiphany Proudfoot in the American neo-noir psychological horror film Angel Heart, a departure from her wholesome image in The Cosby Show, involving bold scenes alongside Mickey Rourke. Subsequently, she parted ways with The Cosby Show due to creative differences. Additional significant TV projects featuring her include series such as Life on Mars and The Red Road, as well as TV movies like New Eden and Lathe of Heaven. Lena Headey Lena Catherine Hetty was born on 3rd of October 1973 in Hamilton, part of the British Overseas Territory of Bermuda. Her parents, Sue and John Hede, are of English descent. John, a police officer from Yorkshire, was stationed in Hamilton at the time, serving in the Bermuda Police Service. Lena has a younger brother named Tim. At the age of 17, Hetty made her initial foray into performance with a one-off show. Subsequently, a casting agent approached her, took a photo, and invited her to audition. This led to her securing a supporting role in the drama Waterland, 1992, providing her the opportunity to collaborate with seasoned actors in the industry. Her early career also included a small part in the critically acclaimed 1993 drama film The Remains of the Day, which received eight Academy Awards nominations. Hetty's presence expanded to television with roles in the popular show Soldier Soldier alongside Robson Green and Jerome Flynn. Throughout the decade, her career continued to flourish in England with progressively significant roles in major motion pictures. In 1996, she played Colette in Kay Mellor's Band of Gold TV series, followed by a starring role as Natasha Jackson in Kavanaugh QC in 1997. Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase, 
a renowned American comedian, film and TV actor, and writer, achieved widespread recognition through his television debut on Saturday Night Live, SNL. While the initial breakthrough on SNL did not catapult him to immediate celebrity status, he gained considerable popularity. His extensive body of work includes various roles on television and in films, with standout performances as Erwin M. Fletcher in the Fletch film series and iconic contributions to the National Lampoon film series. Despite his comic brilliance, his career has been marred by failures and questionable role choices. Beyond the realm of entertainment, Chase harbors a deep passion for music, a lesser-known aspect of his multifaceted persona. Before embracing his calling in comedy and films, he navigated various odd jobs during his early struggles, a common trajectory for many aspiring actors. Despite setbacks in his career, Chase has demonstrated resilience with effective comebacks. Sustaining his enthusiasm to take on diverse roles in both films and TV series. His impeccable comic timing and illustrious career position him as a notably comedian, influencing younger talents such as Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell. Notably, Chase has earned three primetime Emmy Awards for his contributions to television. Sean Young. This talented comedian and actress embarked on a modest journey, initially venturing into the realms of modeling and dance before making her entry into the entertainment industry. She emerged as the alluring young actress of the 80s, capturing the aspirations of directors eager to collaborate with her. However, a decade and numerous A-list movies later, her fortunes took a downturn. Faced with a string of unsuccessful attempts to secure movie roles and repeated rejections, she opted for a hiatus from Hollywood. Despite involvement in various projects, her career failed to regain its momentum. A high-profile court case eventually paved the way for her to land a few roles in films and cable TV shows. Her publicized legal battles aside, numerous media reports have chronicled instances of eccentric behavior, including attempts to crash parties and frequent ejections from shoots and film sets, rejecting multiple film offers, some of which later achieved both critical and commercial success, further contributed to the complex narrative of her career. While her film trajectory never soared to the pinnacle of success, many perceive her as a comeback waiting to happen. Presently, she persists in pursuing her acting aspirations, gracing shows like The Young and the Restless and Skating with the Stars. For deeper insights into the journey of this accomplished actor, read on. Charlie Sheen, Carlos Erwin Estevez, widely recognized as Charlie Sheen, is an American actor in both movies and television. His journey in the entertainment industry commenced at a tender age, featuring in Super 8 films. During the late 80s, he made cameo appearances in movies, paving the way for a significant television breakthrough in 2000 with the series Spin City. His portrayal garnered critical acclaim, earning him a prestigious Golden Globe. Subsequently, he secured the most substantial role of his acting career in CBS's Two and a Half Men. For nearly eight years, Sheen contributed to the show, accumulating numerous Emmy and Golden Globe nominations and ascending to the top of the highest-paid television actors list. However, in 2011, his erratic behavior, stemming from a lifestyle marred by drugs and alcohol, led to his dismissal from the series. Ashton Kutcher was enlisted as his replacement. Throughout his career, Sheen has been a constant presence in the spotlight, grappling with well-documented struggles with alcoholism and drug abuse. With two marriages to his name, he is also known for his history of mistreating women. Following his exit from Two and a Half Men, Sheen headlined FX's Anger Management from 2012 to 2014. Kevin Spacey Kevin Spacey, an actor with an Academy Award to his credit, gained widespread recognition for his standout performance in American Beauty, where he embodies a conventional middle-class family man grappling with a midlife crisis. 
Renowned for his poignant on-screen portrayals, Spacey has demonstrated versatility by effectively inhabiting diverse characters across various film genres. Even in his youth, he exhibited a high level of energy, occasionally veering into the dramatic. A rebellious teenager and troublemaker, he faced expulsion from multiple schools. However, his trajectory took a positive turn when perceptive teachers recognized his potential and encouraged him to channel his focus into acting and theater. Engaging in school productions, Spacey discovered his true passion for acting. Launching his career as a stage actor, he garnered significant success, motivating him to explore opportunities in films and television. Making his film debut in the mid-1980s with a modest role, he earned critical acclaim for his portrayal of Roger Verbal Kint in the crime thriller The Usual Suspects, securing his first Academy Award. In the subsequent years, he solidified his standing as an actor of immense caliber and expanded his horizons into film direction and production. Rachel Bilson Rachel Bilson, renowned for portraying Summer in the teen drama TV series The O.C., is an accomplished actress hailing from a family deeply rooted in the entertainment industry. Blessed with a father who excels as a writer, director, and producer, and a paternal grandfather distinguished in the same fields, Bilson grew up immersed in the intricacies of show business, sparking her own aspiration to enter the field. Encouraged by her father, she embarked on a professional acting journey, initially gracing commercials for brands like Raisin Bran and Subway restaurants. Her initial foray into acting involved modest roles in TV series, steadily paving the way for her ascent as a popular TV actress and eventual exploration into the realm of films. Notably, her debut film, The Last Kiss, a romantic comedy drama, earned her commendation. Beyond her acting prowess, Bilson is celebrated for her impeccable fashion sense, revered as a style icon. Adding another dimension to her creative endeavors, she collaborated with DKNY Jeans to birth the fashion brand Edie Rose. In her personal life, Bilson was involved in a long-term relationship with actor Hayden Christensen, with whom she shares the joy of parenthood, raising a child together. Taylor Momsen. Taylor Momsen, an American singer, songwriter, and actress, stands as the dynamic lead vocalist and front woman of the rock band The Pretty Reckless. Her journey into the entertainment realm commenced at a mere two years old, catapulting her into a whirlwind of constant work commitments that shaped her formative years. Reflecting on her unique upbringing, she humorously acknowledges, I did not have a real life during her growth. Hailing from Missouri, this striking young talent, originally raised in the Roman Catholic faith, now emphasizes her departure from religious affiliations. Her ancestral roots trace back to ethnic Germans from the erstwhile Russian Empire. Commencing her career as a child actor, she seamlessly ventured into the realms of modeling and music. The portrayal of Jenny Humphrey in the widely acclaimed Gossip Girl series thrust her into the limelight, while the success of her group's debut album, Light Me Up, established her prominence in the music industry. Despite her multifaceted persona, Momsen asserts that her true passion lies in music, prompting her decision to forego acting assignments and dedicate herself entirely to the pursuit of her musical career. Megan Fox Megan Fox, an American actor and model, embarked on her artistic journey at the age of five by enrolling in dance and drama classes. Even after her family's relocation from Tennessee to Florida, she persisted in her training, delving into the world of modeling at the age of 13 and garnering numerous awards. Her acting debut unfolded at the age of 15, portraying Brianna in the film Holiday in the Sun. The pivotal moment in her career arrived with the role of Michaela Baines, alongside Shia LaBeouf in Transformers, earning her a MTV Movie Award nomination and three Teen Choice Awards. Yet it was her compelling performance in the sequel, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, that brought her widespread acclaim. 
This role not only secured her Teen Choice Awards in the categories of Choice Female Hottie and Choice Summer Movie Star Female, but also solidified her position in the industry. Her portrayal in Jennifer's body further resonated with fans, securing her Teen Choice Awards, victories in the Choice Female Hottie and Choice Movie Actress Horror Thriller categories. Julianne Moore Julianne Moore, a highly skilled American-British actress and accomplished author, has left an indelible mark on the realms of film and television with her compelling portrayals of resilient female characters. Armed with training from Boston University, her career commenced on the theatrical stage, where she honed her craft before transitioning seamlessly to remarkable roles in both television series and movies. Each of her performances garnered critical acclaim, earning her a multitude of prestigious awards, including the Golden Globe, Emmy Awards, and the coveted Oscar in the Best Actresses category. Notably, her excellence extends to the international stage, where she has been recognized with Best Actress accolades at esteemed film festivals in Cannes, Venice, and Berlin. Beyond her stellar acting career, Moore wears the hat of an accomplished writer, crafting books for children centered around the character Frackleface Strawberry. This literary venture achieved significant success, evolving into a series and securing a place on the New York Times bestsellers list. In her personal life, she resides in New York City alongside her husband and two children, Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway, an accomplished American actress, singer, and producer with a multitude of awards to her name, has graced the silver screen in notable films such as The Princess Diaries, The Devil Wears Prada, and Becoming Jane. Born into a family with a theatrical legacy, Anne's exposure to the intricacies of acting began at a tender age, influenced by her actress mother. Captivated by her mother's craft, Anne's interest in acting sparked at the young age of three, and by eight, she had already expressed her unwavering intention to pursue a career in acting. During her teenage years, she made a groundbreaking entry into the world of commercials, earning the distinction of being the first teenager admitted to the esteemed acting program at the New York City-based Barrow Group. As a teenager, Anne Hathaway's journey continued with appearances in stage productions during middle school, marking her professional acting debut on television as a high school student. Transitioning into the realm of films, she rose to prominence with a memorable role in the Disney film The Princess Diaries. Tall, beautiful, and exceptionally talented, she swiftly became a highly sought-after actress, earning accolades for her emotionally charged and impactful performances. Beyond her acting prowess, Anne Hathaway showcases her versatility as a skilled singer and voice actor. An advocate for the LGBTQ community, she actively supports same-sex marriages, further demonstrating her commitment to social causes. Natalie Portmain Renowned actress Natalie Portmain, honored with both a Golden Globe and an Academy Award, has consistently demonstrated her versatility and exceptional talent within the entertainment industry. Born in Israel and now an American citizen, Portman has graced the screen in a series of both commercially successful and critically acclaimed films. Her breakthrough came with a prominent role in the Star Wars film series, catapulting her to widespread recognition. Armed with a psychology degree from Harvard, Portman's intellectual pursuits extend beyond acting, as evidenced by her role as a guest lecturer at Columbia University, where she shares insights on terrorism and counterterrorism. Furthering her academic endeavors, she has pursued graduate courses at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and boasts proficiency in Arabic, German, Japanese, and French. Notably, she holds the distinction of being the youngest member on the jury of the 61st Annual Cannes Film Festival. Recognized for her captivating brown eyes, sweet voice, and petite figure, 
Natalie Portman has earned a place among the 50 most beautiful people, according to People's Magazine. Her impressive filmography includes iconic works such as Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones, Star Wars Episode III, Revenge of the Sith, V for Vendetta, Black Swan, and No Strings Attached. Ryan Gosling. Renowned Canadian actor and director, Ryan Thomas Gosling has gained widespread recognition, particularly for his leading role in the romantic drama The Notebook. His illustrious career includes appearances in highly successful Hollywood films such as Half Nelson and Lars and The Real Girl, earning him numerous award nominations. Gosling's passion for acting blossomed early, sparked by the influence of the film Dick Tracy, which left a lasting impact on him during his childhood. His deep connection with movies was evident when, inspired by Sylvester Stallone's action film First Blood, he took steak knives to school and threw them at classmates, showcasing a youthful enthusiasm for the cinematic world. Despite facing challenges like bullying, difficulties in making friends, and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder during his school days, Gosling discovered his talent for performing. His early experiences included a two-year stint with the Mickey Mouse Club as a child, as well as singing at weddings with his sister and participating in a local ballet company. These early performances not only fueled his confidence, but also steered him towards a career in the entertainment industry. Initially, he took on minor roles in independent films before securing significant roles in larger productions. Gosling's career took a notable turn after his impactful performance in The Notebook, solidifying his status as a prominent figure in Hollywood. Holly Hunter Acclaimed American actress and producer, Holly Hunter has earned widespread recognition for her exceptional performances in films such as Broadcast News, The Firm, The Piano, and The Incredibles, garnering numerous awards, including an Oscar for her role in The Piano. Hunter embarked on her acting journey on the stage, engaging in a variety of Broadway and off-Broadway projects. Fueled by a passion for acting since her school days, she showcased her talent by portraying Helen Keller in a fifth-grade play, overcoming hearing impairment caused by mumps without letting it deter her dream of becoming an actress. Hunter's dedication led her to study drama in college, and she relocated from Pittsburgh to New York City to pursue her ambitions. A fortuitous encounter in an elevator with playwright Beth Henley marked the beginning of her Broadway debut in Crimes of the Heart. Subsequently, after moving to Los Angeles, she secured a supporting role in Swing Shift, initiating a career that has spanned over three decades, encompassing numerous films, TV movies, and series. Holly Hunter has received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and earned the Women in Film Lucy Award. Jenny Slate Renowned American actress, comedian, and author Jenny Slate has earned acclaim for her exceptional acting skills and stand-up comedy performances. Raised in the suburbs of Boston within an affluent Ashkenazi Jewish family, Slate developed a keen interest in comedy early in her life after relocating to New York City for her studies at Columbia University, she initiated her career in the city's alternative comedy scene, partnering with Gabe to form. The Gabe and Jenny duo shortly after graduating. In just four years, she took center stage with her own solo show, concurrently making her television debut. The attention garnered led to her inclusion in the cast of Saturday Night Live for the 2009-2010 season. Despite her departure the following season, due to an inadvertent on-air incident, Slate continued her journey, showcasing her talents in various films and television productions, contributing as both a performer and a writer for scripts and books. Colin Firth Renowned actor Colin Andrew Firth, celebrated for his award-winning performance as King George VI in The King's Speech, which earned him an Academy Award and various other accolades, 
possesses a distinctive charm with his broad shoulders, square face, and an aura of quiet dignity. Firth's ideal portrayal of leading male characters in period dramas is enhanced by his love for acting, which developed during his childhood. Engaging in drama workshops from the age of 10, he realized his passion for the profession as a teenager, opting not to pursue academic studies. Joining the National Youth Theater, Firth formed valuable connections that would shape his future career. Despite his striking looks and talent, success did not come easily. Throughout the 1980s, he ventured into stage productions and television, laying the foundation for his eventual rise to fame. The breakthrough moment arrived when he secured the role of Mr. Darcy in the television adaptation of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. The show's widespread success in both the U.S. and U.K. solidified his status as a television star, paving the way for acclaimed film roles in productions like The English Patient and Bridget Jones's Diary. Chloe Grace Moritz Chloe Grace Moritz, an accomplished American actress and model recognized for her roles in films like The Poker House, Kick-Ass, and If I Stay, embarked on her Hollywood journey as a child actor. Demonstrating her talent early on, her performance in The Amityville Horror at the age of seven earned her a nomination for a significant award. Despite her young age, she garnered praise for her acting skills and determination. A standout moment in her career came with the action film Kick-Ass, where she embraced a challenging role, undergoing three months of intensive training with Jackie Chan's stunt crew. Notably, Moritz insisted on performing her own stunts, showcasing her dedication to her craft. Transitioning from a child actor to a teenager, she defied the trend of fading careers, continuing to build a successful trajectory in the industry. Her notably portrayal of Mia in the 2014 teen romantic drama, If I Stay Garnered with Spreed Acclaim, solidifying her status as a talented young adult actor. Beyond acting, Moretz is also a well-established model, gracing the pages of publications such as Vogue, Marie Claire, and Elle. Shia LaBeouf Shia LaBeouf, an American actor renowned for his portrayal of Louis Stevens in the acclaimed Disney Channel series Even Stevens, earned recognition with an Emmy Award for his performance. Widely appreciated for his good looks and charm, LaBeouf took on the lead role in the popular Transformers film series, showcasing his versatility. In addition to mainstream success, he delved into arthouse films, contributing significant roles in productions like Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps, and The Company You Keep. LaBeouf's acting journey gained momentum with his standout performance in Disney Channel's primetime show Even Stevens, catapulting him into the spotlight and leading to numerous opportunities. His subsequent appearances in commercial hits such as Disturbia and Indiana Jones and The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull further solidified his status in the industry. Beyond acting, LaBeouf showcased his directorial prowess in Hollywood, making his debut with the short film titled Let's Love Hate. Building on this, he directed television movies, including Maniac and Born Villain, Shannon Doherty. Shannon Doherty, an American actress who gained prominence through the film Girls Just Want to Have Fun, 1985, starring alongside Sarah Jessica Parker and Helen Hunt, has expanded her career to encompass roles as a television director, producer, and author. Commencing her acting journey at a young age, Doherty has contributed to various films and television shows, leaving her mark on productions like Heather's, Our House, Beverly Hills, 902 Charmed, and North Shore. Despite her current standing as a well-established actress, the 1990s marked a tumultuous period in her career and personal life, fostering a bad girl image on the Beverly Hills 90222 set. Dougherty faced allegations of physical altercations and heated disputes with co-stars, legal issues stemming from a brawl and disputes with California's United Bank further complicated her life during that era. 
Over time, however, Doherty distanced herself from controversies, embracing a more positive trajectory. As for her personal life, Doherty passionately advocates for animal rights, actively participating in numerous campaigns to raise awareness about animal cruelty. Known for her outspoken nature, she openly identifies as a Republican in an industry where the majority of her colleagues align with Democratic views. Nicolette Sheridan, Nicolette Flora Viviane. Sheridan, a British-American actress renowned for her roles in numerous television movies and series such as Knott's Landing, Virus, The People Next Door, and Dynasty, embarked on her artistic journey in England. Born to actor Sally Adams, Sheridan, along with her mother, relocated to the United States at the age of 10. Her early exposure to ballet and horseback riding, coupled with academic pursuits in the arts, set the stage for her multifaceted talents. Initiating her career as a model, she transitioned to television with her debut in the series Paper Dolls and further expanded her repertoire with a role in the movie The Sure Thing. Subsequently, Sheridan made notable appearances in various TV movies, including Time to Heal, People Next Door, and The Spiral Staircase. Recognized for her outstanding contributions, she garnered awards for her performance in the TV series Knott's Landing and received numerous prestigious nominations for her work in Desperate Housewives. Acknowledging her captivating presence, she secured a place on People's List of the 50 Most Beautiful People in the World in 1990, and she was ranked 48th on Maxim's 2006 Hot 100 list. Sheridan has experienced two marriages and divorces throughout her life. It's a stark reminder that success in the industry can be fleeting, and the spotlight doesn't always shine consistently. However, it's important to note that these setbacks don't define a person, and many of these celebrities have gone on to find success and fulfillment in other endeavors. As we bid farewell to their Hollywood chapters, let's wish them all the best in their future endeavors. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more intriguing insights into the world of entertainment. Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you in the next video.